All right, guys, it's Saturday. How are you doing? Yes, it's 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 too um, <laughs> it's it's too. What you gonna call it in a row? Two videos, one Saturday, one Friday, one Saturday, and um, basically, I messed up. And how I messed up was uh, by. I'm redoing this. If you if you remember on my uh, Friday video, I was kind of happy with the dragon, but uh, what's happening is the dragon came out pretty good. All right, let me get my sh stuff together here. So. So the dragon came out pretty cool. And I needed a base, and this base kept falling over, so I'm going to glue them onto this base. However, the base itself wasn't drying, and I couldn't figure out why it wasn't drying. So, what I did was empty the paint in it into the bucket. The reason being, because this stuff isn't drying. So, now what I gotta do is redo this entire thing. So, I'm trying to write the wrong here that I did. because it's not drying because I mixed the army painter dark stain it had frozen up on me and um, like it thickened and when it thickened there we go I wanted to thin it out so I used paint then to thin it out and that was a big mistake because what's happening is it's not drying. So now what I gotta do is I gotta rip it apart. Now I use rubber glue for this. Now what we're doing, let me shut this off so it doesn't. No, I love George Strait. But... Alright, so. What I done was I used it, and you see it, right there, it looks all glossy. That's actually still wet. And if you remember, I put this thing together months ago, and it's just not cutting it. So what I have to do now, is I have to... Take it off, and it, it comes right off with paint. Excuse me, with paint then it is just coming right off. I can use my hands to do it. And I use the paintbrush, to, not paintbrush, the toothbrush to get into the little nooks and crannies. But it's look at that, it, it's coming right off. So it's a mistake. I won't do that again. I'm using the paint thinner to fix what I messed up. Now, I do like these bones figures, but they're made out of a plastic, a rubberized plastic, which, again, it's, it's hard to, um, I'll put you up here so you can get a better view. It's a rubberized plastic. <coughs> Then, um, super, well, not super glue, but rubber cement works well with it. So now this can dry, and I'll have the base. And 
what I did, what I mistakenly did was I um, I assumed that the um, Army Builder dark stain I used as a primer, as a coat, which on this type of plastic, it did nothing but give me heartaches because it didn't take it, it, it actually just um, I mean look at what's just come off and do you see that or how that's coming off right so um, the army painter it, it's and then when I mixed it with thinner because it it had solidified for me so I ended up using just a, a wee bit of paint in a minute, and it just, I guess it wrecked the consistency of it. So when I used it, I painted it on, and then I primed it. Well, I don't know even why I did that. But I had, I had painted it on this fig, the terrain, and then, I, and I, I don't even understand why I did this, but... And then I primed it, after, and it didn't really dry because it was having a hard time drying. What I should have done was just strip it right off and start from scratch. But live and learn, I guess, right? So, um, <laughs> it's like, wow, okay. So I really wanted to complete this and get it out of the way. And then I just had so many problems with it being tacky and it's like the 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 paint wasn't adhering. I wasn't able to do any dry brushing because it was still too wet. So I said, you know what? Screw this. If if I need a I need a base for the dragon anyways, because the dragon kept coming off without you know, it would when it stay there, it kept Falling over its own feet. I said, okay, all right, this is what I'm gonna, I'm just gonna rip this whole thing apart and just redo it. And as you can see, this is, some of the stuff is hanging in there pretty well, but, so that's what we're looking at. So that was a, a, a lesson in futility, right? So, I don't know what I was thinking when I did it. I was just trying to experiment, see how it would go. Um, if the if the stain would go into the recesses. <clears throat> and then I could just... Dry brush, paint, paint the, uh, the gray primer on it. And it just didn't take. And I know that I ran out of... See, Walmart used to sell this in black, white, and gray. And now they only sell black. Uh, they used to sell flat white, which was more of a primer, which worked really well. And then gray, which was the primer. And black is actually flat black. It's not primer. It's, it's flat black. But um, Walmart stopped carrying this color place. So then I tried this one. This is gray, so it's, it's different consistency. And I tried rust -Oleum primer as well, which it, it just didn't work out. And it was a cheap, a cheap way of getting, because these things only cost 99 cents. Where these guys cost anywhere from 11 to $12. So, but now that they don't do it anymore, I've been trying to find something that was comparable to what I was using and it just wasn't happening. So now I gotta get all this thinner out of here, let it dry off, and then I'll redo them. The rubber cement still works well. I do gotta go to Home Depot and get some rubber cement remover to remove some uh, tape from some comic books. Alright, so 
And maybe I won't put it on such a big base as I did before so I can actually move it around. So this is, that's, a re that's what it looked like. And this is what it is now. But the thing is, is I can still feel the tackiness of this. So, that my friends. What a mess, honestly. And this stuff's going to come right off. Because it wasn't adhering to it. So look at this. Look at that come right off. Yeah. I should have done this a while ago, but I really didn't want to. So what I'll do is I'll dry them off. I'm gonna prime them black. Start off with black, use that as the base coat. Black primer, flat black, this color plays black. I'm gonna use that. And then I'm gonna paint individual stones different colors. And then I will dry brush. Um, I will not do <laughs> the, the Ami paint of stain. Actually, I think I'm just about running out. So I'm going to throw that away because it's actually a mix of thinner and stain. I was looking for a cheap way out instead of buying another can. Make my own or whatever. It didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. So I think I'm going to avoid that. And I guess that's it guys, so I got a little bit of work ahead of me. So I created my own issues. <laughs>